What is up guys, in today's video we're going to be spectating random players in Fortnite Zero Build talking about the state of the game, what they do well, and what they could do differently. As always, if you guys do find this video helpful, informative, interesting, remember to give a like, subscribe if you like some more, and comment down below what you think of the Magneto item that was the most impactful change this week as far as public matches are concerned, and uh, I think we will see a lot of that item being used in this match. I plan on making a video this weekend for like some tips on how to play against it. But it definitely is a difficult item to play against, and things can go poorly for you very quickly. Like, it just kills very quick, it hits very hard, uh, it disrupts your movement, and then the player using it kind of has weird movement if they're, like, flying around in the sky. So it's definitely a difficult item to deal with, but I still do plan on making a video uh, to hopefully help you guys deal with it. We go Grim this game. I feel like Grim is still pretty contested POI a lot of times because it has the green water and because it has the Cerberus Mythic Gatekeeper shotgun. Um, and Gatekeeper is still very good and the green water is still very good. I'm sure if you guys played last season, you know how good it is, but like this season, especially I feel like ha having green water is even more of a benefit because I feel like people run into it less often with like the medallion not being in play, but also it's a great potential counter to the Magneto item and a great potential counter to like the nitro glove melee spam. So anytime I'm able to like get green water, it's something I want to do. Like, if zone allows for it, I, I want to have those dashes. And it's also just really good in close range fights. Fighting going on behind him. Yeah, down there. Kind of missed his timing to, like, third party that, though. It feels like this player doesn't know where the chest is. I, I think that's what it is. They're, like, looking for this chest. I'm like, I don't know. I think this player might be decent. I might have just jinxed him. But I think they either heard that person sprinting up or had visual audio from it and then decided to wait and then kind of take advantage of that timing, which is something so ob like basic, right? Like, oh, a player is running around. I'll wait and catch them off guard. But like, yeah, that, that displays a higher level of understanding of the game than some players that I spectate sometimes in these videos. I'm not really sure what's going on here. I feel like they don't really know this POI very well. Unless he just doesn't want these stairs here for some reason. Maybe so when he fights Cerberus, it's harder for him to get up. But I feel like that's not... I don't know. My... I, I don't think... I don't like fighting Cerberus here. So there's still players here. We just heard them dash on the right side. And he didn't clear the POI. So fighting Cerberus here is a mistake. You can still go for it. But I feel like the entire time you're fighting Cerberus here, you need to be more concerned about the other players and not Cerberus himself. So if you can use Cerberus to bait people into pushing you or bait people into thinking that they have good timing when they don't, that's great. But if you get too tunnel vision on the fact that you're fighting Cerberus, then you make yourself an easy target for an enemy. And it seems like they did the right thing or what I would consider to be the right thing, you know? Uh, but unfortunately, they that player gets away and then they die to this Billie Eilish. I actually feel bad for that because I thought the thing dashing behind them was Cerberus. I was about to say, like, they don't need to worry about the dashing on their back because it's Cerberus. That Megalodon, or not Megalodon, Magneto that got away is a griefer. Grief the first person we were spectating, and now this Billie Eilish kind of being too concerned about that led to her getting caught in the back as well. Okay. That seems risky to just jump on the fight like that, but I actually really like that play from the Billie Eilish because you have two players fighting there. They're fighting in close range, so they're probably going to take a decent amount of damage. And just getting in there and, like, cleaning that fight up, I think, is kind of risky. But it, in a way, it's less risky because fighting around this area can be rough with all the green dashes. The green water dashes. So, like, if the Billie Eilish tried to play that more safe and then that person runs away uh, because of the dashes and then that results in, like, her getting third party down the line, I think that's actually bad. So, like, her just getting in there and cleaning that fight up, I think, is actually a good play. I don't really know what's going on with her fighting Cerberus. That was rough. So personally, I would rather have a Gatekeeper shotgun with Drum Mag than the Mythic. But this early in the game, if I land here, I'd definitely take it. Or if I just don't have a Gatekeeper yet. But if I was in this Billie Eilish's shoes and I had like a purple or gold Gatekeeper already, I would be pretty inclined to keep it. 
over the mythic. There's EMPs there. I don't like that she's ignoring those. Not everyone has as high of an opinion in, on as me on EMPs, but I, I think they're the best car counter item in the game right now. She has a tow hook for that, but I, I think the EMPs just work faster and more effectively. Um, so we'll see if, if any situations around cars come back to fight this player, but I personally, the two most sought after items for me in the game right now are the gloves, the nitro gauntlets, and then the EMP grenades. To just like be able to move around the map and counter cars. I genuinely didn't know you could run up like this. I'm not gonna lie. I thought if you tried to run up that, it would just be like a mess where your character like glitches into it constantly. I've like never been up here. I don't know why you'd want to be though. There's somebody landing on her. She does have dashes, so if she hit good shots here, she could have dashed on them. But she only hit like barely any shots and then she misses both of them. I don't know what's going on. Is her gun like firing on its own? There is a glitch sometimes in Fortnite where like your item, your gun will just shoot off on its own and then until you hit the shoot button again. I think she's dead here. GG's. Uh, yeah, I think the play there was just going in too hard without damage. It's always like a risk reward type thing. Getting the player out of the game fast does benefit you because it's less time that you're exposed. But what would have been great would have been if she hit like she hit like 40 damage on the thunderburst when the skull trooper was landing if she hit like like 80 ish and then she dashed on that with a shotgun i think that skull trooper would have had a really hard time playing the game but like i have no idea what started to happen when she dashed on the skull trooper and then he also sniped her when she was like pushing back GG's. gatekeeper too good this skull trooper is very weak there but it just does, doesn't matter he hits his shots with the gatekeeper it's like such a damaging weapon up close. And that is one of the potential counters to the Magneto, I think, is just like getting on them with the shotgun. But like the the problem is when you get on people dry. I, I think if you got no damage on them at all and you're just jumping on them with a gatekeeper shotgun, it can be rough if they start hitting you with the Magneto. But like, let's say you hit them like, you know, 50, 60-ish damage, not a whole lot, but like some amount of damage with like your spray weapon. And then you get on them to close the kill i feel like that works a lot better but like if you're trying to 250 to zero them with the shotgun up close before they start hitting you with the magneto thing it can really be a coin toss either way if you're confident in your aim it can work but if i have if i have a player weak especially and they're going for the magneto my thing i would want to happen most is just to jump on them with the shotgun and you can accomplish that with gloves or you can accomplish that with dashes. I This player doesn't have dashes and they're coming from the green water. So I would have liked to have gotten dashes there if I was them. Like anytime I'm near the green water, I want to get those dashes. They're very good. Not really sure what's gonna happen here. This is just like one of the things that happens this season where people drive around in circles around each other seemingly aimlessly and I don't really know what the point is. This can be a fight that's turned easy. They're getting caught from over as well. Okay, they choked their shots. But like the, the combat shotgun up close versus the gatekeeper, like that's where the combat is at a disadvantage. The combat's like main advantage is like range and like consistent damage and like playing more for like chip damage, you know? But just having a face face to face like close range fight like the combat shotgun had first shot but i, I think that would have been like turnable by the gatekeeper if they kind of hit their shots but they, they hit no shots and then they were also getting shot from above as well but what i was going to say is like the skull trooper getting involved here is rough because they ha i don't think they had any item to counter cars like i said the sniper but they also had no gloves and like i wouldn't have wanted to be involved here if i had no gloves like maybe they wanted to get the mythic gloves but yeah this should be a kill ggs Not really much like I could do there. She takes the Cerberus Gatekeeper. I think there was a gold one there with Drum Mag already. And if I'm using a combat AR especially, I want the Drum Mag Gatekeeper. I think I will make a video about like the Thunderburst versus the combat AR and why I like the Thunderburst more on my second channel. But if you're using a Gatekeeper with three shots, you're kind of likely to have to go to your spray weapon. And the combat AR has no hip fire aim assist on controller. And the Thunderburst does. So if you're a controller player, I feel like the Thunderburst is better for close range for that reason. But also, aim assist aside, like, let's, let's disregard that. The Thunderburst just has the best hipfire ever in the game because it, it's, like, perfectly accurate hipfire with laser sight. 
And so using a three round gatekeeper, I feel like you're decently likely to have to go to that hip fire on your thunderburst and or on your spray weapon. And so for that reason, I would mainly only want to use the combat AR if I have a five round gatekeeper. And I believe there was one up there. I think there was a gold one with drum, but I could be wrong. For some reason, the machinist medallion is on the ground. I'm not sure if that recently happened or if someone's baiting it. Someone there. This is smart. He's playing the kill first and not the medallion. That's very good. I think a lot of players would have been like, oh, that player's running away medallion. And then maybe he turns back and fights them. The medallion is on the ground. It's like on the bottom of that ramp. Oh, also another thing about the Thunderburst hipfire that I really like is dealing with the Magneto player. If they're like soaring through the sky, you can just kind of glove up and then hipfire them while you're gloving up. And it's harder for them to hit you when you're not on the ground. So that's another reason why I would want it. So I said it was a good play that they kind of ignored the medallion and just focused the player, but I think they just didn't see the medallion. So I think they still probably would have made the better play. This player seems like decent. Like their movement is good. Their shots are good. They're making decisions quickly. Those are kind of the three signs that uh, when I'm making these videos that indicate to me if I'm spectating someone that like n is good at the game. A lot of players that like are newer to the game or aren't as, you know, good at the game usually are very indecisive and that often comes back to bite them. And so when I see someone that just like quickly makes decisions, whether it's a good or a bad decision, just making a decision and going for it, I think it's better than like being very indecisive about things. I don't really use the cars. I would not have gone for the mythic car in this circumstance, but this player kind of has like nothing to play for at this point in time, I would say. Because they have two mythic, uh, their guns are all mythic, I think, so they don't really need to do attachments. Um, so they can probably just play for kills now, play for island maybe when it comes up. But like, at this point in the game, me personally, I would be wanting to get to a weapon bunker and then do attachments. But like, if you're gonna use mythics, you can't do attachments, and like, it is what it is. That's unfortunate. But I think they still won this fight. I don't. I don't even know what happened there. To be honest. Anytime I'm at Nitro Drum, I try to leave as fast as possible. I didn't know that, that like, if anything, like, one shot the car like that. One thing I don't like is having the sniper as, like, a car counter item, but, like, it, it can get the job done. It's just, like, not as, like, immediate as, like, something like EMPs. And so if he's playing like this and just, like, chipping it down like this, it can work. But, like, in a life or death moment when there's a car on him, like, the sniper isn't the ideal thing to go to, I feel like. I also really like having EMPs for like getting the medallions off players using the boss car because a lot of times they just run, but here he has the medallions, so it's not like that's something to really be concerned about. I would focus this player here. It seems like a lot of the cars right now that are over here just want to like exist. I also would want to get some dashes before it's out of zone. Like he's going this direction anyways. And this is like what I was talking about. Imagine EMPs in that situation. Two throw EMPs, this player has no shield, they jump out of the car, you'd probably kill them. They might've gotten in that other car, but like maybe not. But just like spraying the AR, spraying the cars with the ARs, it works over time. But like sometimes you don't have that time to play with, you know? And that's why me personally, I would like to have the EMPs, but maybe this player just likes sniping. Anyways, like they want to snipe. And so like the fact that it also works versus cars is nice to them. Kind of like a preference thing. But I like ju I just really don't like dealing with situations like this where you're just like chasing somebody in a car constantly and then you finally break it, they get into another car and leave or you just end up getting third party by somebody that's like actually playing the game. And there is players like just fighting around here. You see there's two crowns on the, on the island, I think. So yeah, I was going to say like giving up on that car and maybe focusing this player on island is... A better play not only is it like a fight that can happen easily oh my gosh the car came in to help him i was gonna say not only is it a fight that can happen easily but this person is maybe a more like important threat to deal with than like that player that's just running using the car i would want to chase this he has this player weak they seem decent and he has machinist medallion so he's regening hp while this player isn't so i would want to like take advantage of this timing and get this go and 
I think he should. Dang. I think if he... I thought, I thought, I thought he was going to AR them. This player is going to get away and get some dashes. They're, they're in the room. And they shockwave. That's unfortunate. I feel like this like NFL player is so incredibly weak with the superhero deck. There we go. Nice. I say, they're just like barely getting away from that superhero skin. There's somebody dashing on him from behind. I would want to just get on island here. Maybe he's baiting to see if this person's going to chase. That's not bad. I want to see what happens if somebody uses a Magneto item. Like, I wonder how, like, sniping plays against that. Because I think in certain situations, it could work out incredibly good. But it's very all or nothing. Where, like, if you miss that shot or they start hitting you, things could go south very quick. I don't know where the person is. I think they just landed up here with them, though. Maybe not. thought I heard, like, someone rift and gliding. Okay, yeah, no, they are up here. I think they're using the Magneto. I would want to be on this little roof. I feel like whenever you use cover, the Magneto item is, like, weird about, like, getting stuck. Or, like, it feels like the hitbox of the metal piece will often just get, like, hit by, like, the cover or whatever. If the cover will block it in situations that surprise me. Seven opponents remain. They're on the roof. They were on the roof of the island building. I don't know if he didn't see them or if he just like didn't want to deal with that. There's a player underneath him, but I think it's AI. I'm gonna go back to island. I'm guessing he just didn't see the person on the roof, maybe. Now I don't know where that person is either. I just heard the Magneto metal. Oh, they're, they're over to the right over here. He saw them. They're probably going to mantle up, I would assume, and then try to get on this and throw metal. That'd be my guess. Oh, no, they launch padded. Pretty sure they padded. Like, I thought I heard them gliding. I would want to get more dashes. I would dash down to the green water and get dashes and then rotate in this way. This hill would be a good place to be, I think, right here for this zone. But it's kind of not good to be right now because a lot of people are going to flow into that hill. So I would kind of want to late get there. And then once zone is like opened up to all this and then like your backside is more like there's less area for people to be there. Uh, this hill, I think, would be good to be. Player behind the car as well. I don't know if this is one of the cars that you can shoot through the windshield or not because I think they fixed it on some but not others, so it's like hard to keep track of. I would try it though. I still use one of the cars that's like pay to lose or whatever, quote unquote pay to lose. That way, if someone gets in it, I can like shoot them from the passenger seat. Because I'm never going to be, like, in this player's situation. Where, like, I'm just, like, getting in a car. Like, I'm never going to be in this driver's situation. He's, like, trying to leave them be, but he doesn't want to, like, team with them. He's trying to be friendly, but, like, not... Team, but that person just rolled up and started shooting him not accepting the ride it was very disrespectful i guess but as you saw what i was saying about this hill it turned out to be true there's way too many people over there and that's like kind of one thing that can happen with like a spot that's like the best spot in zone is sometimes not the best spot in zone because there's too many people going for it and even if you're a lot better than everybody else it's just like three people shooting at you can like creep things easily getting on him with the magneto metal this is messy this is where dashes would be great now you could dash on that person and then maybe finish the kill 
But you see how that is? Like, this player that we've been spectating has been quite good. But, like, it just hits for 90 and knocks you back. So, it's just, like, very weird to play against. Like, he gets away. But I think things could have easily gone, like, south there. And it's like I don't I don't think it takes very much on the person using it to like execute. And it seems like like there's several people using it. We have four opponents remaining, and this Daredevil is using it, and that fireworks team leader was as well. Again, I would want to get the ashes. I'm not sure how I would want to play this. I think just play edge and try to like third party fights if you can, because a lot of people are like using the Magneto thing in this lobby, it seems, or that we've seen at least. Um, there's another person using it. And so I feel like fighting one of these Magneto players, not only can it go south quickly, but it can also like getting third party by them. is also not great. So like I would want to just kind of be doing what this player is doing, maybe chip in shots of the sniper or the AR. I would want to be in position to like clean this up if it like people start dying, but like, like, what are we even looking at, you know? Okay, one person died. The other two maybe fight. Maybe they don't fight. The fireworks team leader is under. I don't know if that fireworks team leader is weak, though, because they just fought. So they might be weak. I think the snipe there is hard. And this is kind of like the, like, unfortunate side of sniping. It's like, sure, you can hit hard body shots and, like, an instant headshot. But, like, the ARs are just more consistent. Like, I think if this player was using the AR on that fireworks team leader there, that's... Like, he gets damage, and then, like, maybe that is enough damage to, like, push that and get a kill easily. And then that player is no longer in the game. But, like, the sniper is just literally all or nothing. Whereas, like, the ARs, I feel like, are just more forgiving. And I, I feel like with how this game is playing out right now, like, I would want to just, like, get people out of the game without, like, wasting much time or, uh, like, my HP and stuff. Because I think this player will win this game if, like, just... If, if the game plays out normally, I think the player we're spectating will win. Right in front of him. Again, like, AR there. That's, like, maybe 50, 60 damage. And then now this fireworks team leader is in a worse off spot. But instead, she takes no damage. Things have slowed down now too, which I don't like for this player. Because I feel like when the zone gets small, like people just like going up and then shooting down with the Magneto can you just get so random. And like, that's what I was saying about this player. Like if, if things play out normal, I think they win. But like things might not play out normal with how it's going. And third party, just gonna dash ahead. When you're getting fought by two people, like trying to go in a way that like gets them to fight each other is good. But since the one that was in the middle was on low ground, it like wasn't gonna happen. And four health. Magneto thing is just, like I said, it could just go south so quickly. All right, he gets a kill on the fireworks team leader. Where is the other one though? I think they're above. Now he's also going above. All right, he won the storm. So it, it all works out in the end, but I think we can all agree that, that that's like way closer than it needs to be. Like this player was very good. Um, it was way closer than it needs to be. And I think the only reason it was is because the Magneto thing is in the game one, but two, they were going for snipes a lot in situations where like an AR would have got the job done, but, and then hope maybe that fireworks team leader is not in the game. They don't go down to four health because that, I think that very easily could have not been their game to win. If the fireworks team leader just jumped on them, or if the last person wasn't in Storm, uh, yeah, I think the game's way closer than it needed to be. But that is going to be it for this video. As always, if you guys do find this video helpful, informative, interesting, remember to give it a like. Subscribe if you'd like to see more, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.